Search and destroy. All right, guys, we are back with map two of the 100th win in Call of Duty Ghost Xbox One singles game battles ladder. I'm up facing DJ Moral yet again on the map freight. Got hit. This guy has a 6-2 record, and we hit him up with the 6-4 game on Sovereign, which was surprisingly close. This dude was getting a lot of flanks on me. He was definitely maneuvering around my strats pretty, pretty well. Um... But yeah, hopefully we can turn that 6-4 into maybe a 6-2, I'm hoping, for in this map. We're going to see what we can do. And this will get me to my 8th uh, place ranking that I'm I'm uh, urging for right now. Just for the you know playoff stuff, just to make sure. Because I've been getting uh, some of my friends saying that uh, for singles, it's top 8 make it to the playoffs. And I also had a comment on one of my videos where some dude asked me, if the top eight make it into the play, uh, how many people make it into the playoffs for singles? And one dude replied top eight, and I I have never heard of top eight. But after I uh, saw that comment, I was asking my friends and stuff, and uh, some of them said the same thing as well. So uh, we saw this guy cross. He's not playing, so he ran right through. Looks like he ran through. Last man standing. Finish it. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't like what's happening, guys. It's an awkward situation. Really awkward situation. Nice. The bomb has been planted. Right, well, let's just pick this bomb. Hopefully, he's not in fire right now, Soundhorn. But he's not, so we got the defuse. Bomb defused. I'm surprised I didn't hear that dude pick up the bomb. He must have picked up the bomb like a moment before I got in my spot or something. But regardless, we got. An Easy ninja, you know, people, pretty much, not everybody, like, good players will check the bomb. So, most most good players will check the bomb within the first seven seconds. Not all of them, though. Like, I'll, I'll admit, I'm definitely guilty of uh, not checking the bomb within the first seven seconds multiple times. Everybody does it. You know, everybody forgets to check the bomb and stuff like that. And it happens, it happens. Excellent job. You know, certain spots, like, especially if you're running a lap. Running a lap, there's nothing you can do. If they get on the bomb earlier, they get on the bomb earlier. There's not much you can really do about that. Switching sides. But yeah, uh, I'm assuming you guys will be seeing this video this weekend, which is the weekend of the 30th. And I'm going to be pumping out a shit ton of videos for you guys this weekend. I have so many gameplays ready to go ever since I've gotten home. I've just been... Like I haven't made a I haven't made a video in like eight in like five days like because all the videos I was uploading during that time period was just like recycled videos and stuff um, from that I've made but not recycled but it's all up to you now. The squad's counting on you. videos I've made in the past it's hard it's hard to like I, I make videos beforehand so that because I knew I was gonna be gone for a couple uh, for like five days so I made the videos already so I could keep on posting and you guys wouldn't be left alone for five days. But this guy crossed right when I stopped looking, it seems. Ah! Jeez, I was... I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, this guy's probably bolting through Owens right now and is going to meet me up in the middle because this guy likes doing laps, it seems. Because I'm guessing that's what he was doing the last time. I'm just doing a good old lap. But, uh, luckily my shots connected and I reacted pretty... I mean, in a pretty good manner. And that got me the kill. Currently up with this 3-0, and like I requested in the beginning of the video, I'm hoping to get a nice 6-2 on this guy, at least. You know, 6-0 would be even better, and a 6-1 obviously would be good as well. I just wasn't really comfortable with the scores last game. I don't know why. Like, sometimes when you're playing uh, a player that you feel like, you know, you, you should be destroying, it just gets annoying when you, you realize, like, why is it such a close game? This dude ran over here. I know you did. I don't know where this guy. He I think he's on my spawn. I should be able to plant B. I'm not gonna go all yellow on the gunfight, you know. Hopefully this guy's not sprinting right down. Which doesn't look like he is. But this is probably the best plant spot to get in B. Well, you can see Owen. So if he pops out Owen's, I'm able to put the bomb down and stuff. And I'm just gonna stand on here. Hopefully I don't get wall banged. But when I do playoffs and shit, I'll, I might need to avoid spots like this. Because it's just so common. But this guy rapes me when he pops out. I got first shot, but he's hosting, so 
I lose. <laughs> it happens, boys. It happens. Plus, I hip fire. Even though I have steady aim, hip fire, you know, it's not invincible. Didn't really expect they got to pop up from that angle because the way I, I angle myself, I can see Owens and I can also see that the barrel, like in the uh, fire alley. So I can see if he pops out either of those ways, and obviously I can see the entire uh, cross there. But if he pops up from this angle, I can't see him in advance. Obviously, I'll see him when he pops up on my screen, but not before then. But somehow this guy got across last time. He must have pushed across late. So if he's going to be pushing across late, I'm going to try to get a quick flank on this guy. It's all up to you now. Finish this. Pretty much whenever I flank, this is the route I always run. I just check this, then I can check crates from here. And we don't see him again. He, I, I guess I gotta start posting up at the crosses the entire time because flank is not Flanking is not working. The bomb has been planted. Let's see plants here. Goddamn. Maybe he'll pop up. Probably not. I don't see why he'd pop up over here. Oh, what? How'd this guy outgun me here? I, I, this dude just plants some retarded spots and does, uh, like, look at his aim compared to mine. That's what bugs me sometimes. Like, I get first shot. My aim's a lot better than that. And how do I lose? Search and destroy. Destroy the objective. Whatever. I should probably use my other MTAR class. Cause this one has stun and aids on, just cause in freight you get into situations like that. But this dude's not pushing underground, nice. It's all up to you now. The squad's counting on you. I think I might push through here to A, honestly, because this guy's probably gonna hear the gate. And immediately think that I'm going to B. So hopefully he's at B right now, and we can just get to our hot spot that I love using. And we can see if he pushes me from here, which he's not. We gotta make sure he's not gonna ninja us, and he is. Ha <laughs> ha! Now I don't think so, pal. This dude wanted to get some revenge on me by getting the ninja on me, but I'm like, what the fuck? The bomb's not even there. But that is quite interesting. I planted that bomb pretty far out. I'm surprised he could actually defuse it without me being able to see his body. I would have assumed that I'd at least be able to see his hands and shoot him from there. But luckily, I checked. I made sure. I made sure because I knew this guy was. Whenever you ninja defuse, they always get greedy. They're like, you know what? This guy ninjaed me. I'm gonna fucking get some revenge. And I'm gonna ninja him right back. That's what people think. So you always gotta be ready for it in general, but especially. I'm just. I'm blind. I couldn't even see this guy for half the time. Runs right across my screen. I can't even see him. I think that's because I was mainly looking into white. Like, my eyes were focusing on bottom white. I don't know. I didn't see him walk here. <laughs> Am I blind, guys? Am I blind? Alright, we got the kill, though. You know, like I always say in my videos, you can choke as long as you win the round. You can choke, you know. You know, I choked that pretty bad, but I won the round, so it doesn't really matter. And... Here it is, guys. This is our goal. Our goal was the hot 6-2. And here it is in front of us. We have to win this round. This is a huge round. We're going to have to win this in order to get the hot 6-2 on them. Alright, we successfully pushed across B. That's always good. Right, I need to get some new plan spots for this, I feel. I actually have a good plant spot, but I just never use it. But I'm gonna do a lap. And I find this guy middle map. But basically, if I didn't see him here, I would have just continued running. I would have ran through fire and Owen's alley. And I would have just assumed that he's in front of me, so I would have just pushed up, assuming he's on the flank, and just check bomb, and then, you know, just run around a bit more, and then check bomb again. And I don't think this guy would go for a second ninja on me, and I don't even think he'd be close enough to get a ninja that fast anyway. But that's all. For the hundredth win, we did get it. And you go to my team right now. I'm still 97 and 16, but we got three wins on the hold. Waiting for those to come through, then I will have a hundred wins. An Xbox One singles ladder for Call of Duty Ghost. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed.
I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.